the game. I've seen um, what's been said about it, and there's very little I can add other than gutless, spineless. Um, Neil Lennon cannot survive a result in a performance like that. This is the worst run at home in over 30 years. He lost three games in the spin for the first time at home yeah. in 30 years. He was under pressure going into this. Um, you could see he had a snap back at the press a couple of weeks ago about some of the polls that were in the local media, some of the things that were being said in the local newspapers. And, I mean, I'd love the Celtic fans to tell me now exactly where they go from here because they've gone from looking for, to 10 in a row to looking like they're going to have one of the worst seasons they've had in a long, long time. Mm. Listen, we've talked about Celtic many a time, right? And lots of Celtic fans phone up and tell us how big a, a, a massive, giant club Celtic are, right? Yeah. In the grand scheme of things, not just in Scotland, but in world football, European football, yeah. right? Yeah. And there were lots of people that questioned why Brendan Rodgers would leave such a big club in Scotland to come down to what they described as a mediocre club in the Premier League. Now, Leicester, of course, were in action tonight against Braga. They, played, they won 4-0, right? Yes. There's, there's no, surely there's no one now who can question whether or not Brendan Rodgers has made the right decision. He well, went... <clears throat> go on. Well, you don't leave a job unless you feel you're going to go and better yourself, do you? Who goes for a job halfway through a contract if they're going to go backwards? No, but this underlines it, doesn't it? This proves it. Yes. Um, and he's come to a league, a richer league. Um, you can debate whether Leicester is a bigger than, than Celtic. I think we all accept that Leicester aren't. But the opportunity to take Leicester into, into Europa League He's got more chance of winning it with Leicester than he has at Celtic. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. Um, I think we have to tip our hat to Stephen Gerrard. What a, you know, I mean... Although they, they, they were 3-1 up against Benfica. They, they, they absolutely are 3-1 up. For them to drop two points, really it'll feel like a defeat. But what a performance up until the last goal. What a performance yeah. again. Uh, but they, they will almost certainly qualify now. So congratulations uh, to them picking a point. And with Celtic doing so poorly and Rangers doing so well at the moment that all that does is just rub their noses in it even more but yeah, you can't you can't argue with the decision that Brendan made at the time he's now fighting for Champions League football at a team that are going to give him the support at Leicester they've got a damn good squad he's improved that squad and he's a, he's a damn good manager so you cannot question the decision mm. and, and Celtic have got to try now it looks like find a replacement for Neil Lennon uh, OK, let's take some calls on that. Uh, just quickly, before we go to the final, there's a quick word on Spurs. They beat the Farmers and Ludogrets by three goals. Don Kane's got his 200th goal. Yeah, congratulations. In 200, and th in 200 goals in 300 games. Yeah, it's remarkable, incredible, incredible remarkable. achievement. Um, and he's, he looks like he's... I think this is probably the best Harry Kane I've seen this season so far. He he's not just, he's not just a goal scorer now. He's right. just about everything, isn't he? I've said to you before, tell me something Harry Kane can't do. You're right. And there's nothing he can't do. No. He's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Congratulations to him, and who knows, he could go on to be England's greatest ever goal scorer. It's not impossible for me to say he might be the Premier League's greatest goal scorer. Yeah, I agree. You know, he's, he's closing in. Spurs fans, will they be thinking now, even after a result against a team like this, will they be thinking we can win the Europa League? Yeah, of course they will. Of course they will. A bit will. too early, though, isn't it? It's a, yeah, but they think, they feel that they'll have a chance. Okay. They've got, I mean, Son's, Son was on the pitch two or three minutes. He sets up a goal. I mean, that's the... They, They've, they've got enough in their squad to, so far to go into games like this and not have to play their full strength and still get a mm. result. Spurs fans, you can phone up 0871722334. Quick word about Arsenal beating Molder by four goals to one. Yeah, it went one nil down. It's yeah. a bit of a shock. Leno, for me, the goal. I mean, I, they were saying on the telly a brilliant goal. I heard the Lesnar kick was saying brilliant goal. And it was a good goal. But I, I, Le Leno seemed to go down in instalments. It's not... I thought we should have done better, in all honesty. But look, overall, I don't think the result was ever in doubt. But it's all about getting equalised. Once they went 2-1 up, that was, it was over. Uh, Leicester beat Braga by four goals to nil. Another excellent performance. You know, they, Brendan has got them purring. Absolutely purring. I mean, that was... They'll have stiffer tests in this competition. Of course they will. But that wasn't going to be an easy game tonight. But they made it look ever so easy. OK. And uh, a quick word about Celtic. I know we spoke about yeah. that. But if Sir Rod Stewart is listening, do you think he'll Sir find Rod, out? Oh, God. Poor Rod. I don't know what... I mean, you can vent your, your spleen here. Come and phone us, phone us up. It'll still know. say that Celtic are a massive side, though. Well, I mean, in, right in Scotland they are, aren't they? Scotland they are, but mm. across Europe now they've... Lennon's... Can you see Lennon surviving? No, I can't, I can't. I mean, it's so important that Celtic win the 10, isn't it? And, I, and, yeah. not, and not stopped by Rangers. That would just be horrific yes, for them. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah. And Stephen Joe's done a brilliant job. He has... 0871722344. Let's go to the phone line. Let's speak to Ross. He's a Rangers fan. He's first up. Hello, Ross. How are you? Hi there. Good. How are you guys? Thanks Hello, for coming Ross. into the sports bar. Do you want a drink before we start? Uh, it's okay. I've got a bottle here. 
Oh, no, no, we still get you one. It's on the house. What do you Don't want? Don't worry, it's free. Oh, what do you I want? I will have a bowl of Heineken. Okay, we'll pour that bowl into a glass for you. And it, there you go. How's that? Excellent. Thank you very much. Cheers, Ross. Cheers, Ross. Good health. Cheers, Ross. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Go on, then. What are you phoning up for, Ross? Uh, well, it's not even a dish sell, like, as much. But uh, Rangers obviously had a disappointing result tonight after being 3-1 up. But... Um, if you look back in 2018, Scott Brown said that the rest of the clubs in Scotland weren't helping Scotland's courses at all. If you look at Celtic's results in Europe since then, they've been appalling, you know. Rangers have more than done their bit to get us to Champions League places back and Celtic has let us down completely with their pure performances. He phoned up just purely to have a pop at Celtic, Ross, hasn't he? Well, not particularly, no, because it's equally important to suggest how good Gerrard has done and, you know, we still get played for being a small club, but... You know, we're showing in Europe week in, week out that we can play against these big teams and we're being let down by other clubs in the country. I wouldn't worry about them, though, Ross. This coefficient thing, I think that's just something that fans say. I couldn't care less as a Chelsea fan about the coefficient. I don't, I don't want anyone to do well. Yeah, but you guys are always automatically going to have four teams in the Champions League and however many teams in Europe. We've only had one team in the Champions League over the last ten years. I mean, again, I'm not, you know... I mean, that's, but yeah, I mean, maybe, but you don't want Celtic to do well, though, Ross, do you? Oh, absolutely not, no, no, no. but at the same time, when players from other teams are criticising the rest of the league for not helping, and then they go into yeah, it, okay, I get it, I get it. Yeah, fair enough. All right, Ross, um, I'm going to have to throw you out the pub, though, Ross, is that all right? Because <laughs> you've yeah, drunk too right. much, yeah. all right? <laughs> let, let me just okay. throw you out the pub again, but I'll, I'll put the window near the microphone this time. <laughs> there you go. Oh, oh, he's speaking while he was in there. That was weird. Uh, there you go, Ross, the Rangers fan. Having his say live on National Radio. You can do the same. Come join, come join come us on. in the sports bar. Oh eight seven one seven double two double three double four. It's me, Andy Goldstein, and Jason Cundy right here on Talk Sport. Talk Sport breakfast in partnership with Arnold Clark. Ultra smooth. C- one. How am I going to pronounce that? How uh, would you How would you say that? Avi Avi Row. Avi Row. Is that right? That's exactly right. What's your name? Avi Row. Abbey Row, is that Abbey, right? Abbey Row. Yeah, that's great. We've got it. Yeah, okay, how are you, Abbey Row? Are you good? Yeah, I'm great. I'm great. How are you? How old are you, Abbey Row? Should you be in here? 16. Uh, that, 15? That, uh, I'm, I'm going to chuck you out, <laughs> Abbey Row. chuck a 15-year-old out a window. <laughs> Can't do that, Stinks. Oh, Abbey Row, is your dad in here? I'm allowed in the bar. Is your dad in here, Abbey Row? Is your dad in here? Yeah. Who's that lady he's with? <laughs> it's not your mum, is it? Look what he's up to, your dad. He's a filthy Abby Rowe, before, um, before we listen to you, do you want a quick game of darts with me? Oh, yes, please. Go on, you go first, Abby Rowe. Go on, you throw right. it first. Here you go. Oh, oh not it's bad. Right. Not bad. Yeah. I'll tell you what. You've got four. How many darts have you got? What's going on with these darts? I mean, <laughs> what is why, this? Why has someone got five darts? Go on, in, Abby, go on in, Abby Rowe. What do you want to say, my friend? Oh, Jason. I think Spurs are going to win Europa League. Why do you think that? Because who else is going to win it? And our performances are just going to prove it. In, both, in every competition, our performances mean we're going to win. Arsenal I, could win it. Who? Arsenal. Arsenal won today because two own goals. I think I think it's going to be very difficult to work out who's going to win this competition until until the teams from the Champions League drop into it. Yeah. yeah that, that is true. However, I think but if Tottenham can pick up a run of form by then, it won't matter. Because the teams dropping down aren't going to be teams that would stand in a way. Because they literally. What about just... PSG? They might drop into it. Okay, that's a different story. Okay, if PSG drop into it, that's a different story. But I still think if they drop into Champions League after losing in a group stage like Man United, I think Spurs can beat it. No offense. Okay. You know your football, don't you? I know my football. What about Krasnodar drop into it? Fashion. <laughs> 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 right, wrote, is there anything else you want to say? Um, I love the sports bar. I've been on before and I said it before. I'll say it again. Oh. And all my friends listening, we oh. love it. We Who's love your friends? It. Who's your friends? Um, well, I've got oh, yeah. Alex listening. Hello, Alex. Let's shout out to you. Right. And I've got Nathan listening. Let's yeah. shout out to Nathan. Um, and everybody else. Are they all listening now, every row? Yes, they are all listening right, now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick you up. Let me just pick you up. I'm going to throw you out the window. Oh, God. Oh! There you go. He's been launched out the window. Abby Row has gone. Poor kid. He's only 15. Well, he's he glad, should be here in the first place, should he? Uh, if, you, if you're old enough to be in a pub, you're yeah. old enough to get thrown out. Exactly right. uh, Paul's a Leeds fan. He's up next. Hello, Paul. Good evening. Oh, good evening, Andy and Jay. It's a pleasure to speak to you two guys. Oh, and, uh, Do you want a drink, Paul? You, hey, have we got, have we got lagers or beers or cast beers? I'm a Yorkshire man. I'll have a pint of John Smith's. Pint of John Smith's, Maureen. 
There you go. There you go, make Paul. Sure he's got, make sure he's got a head on it. Right, OK. Yeah. Oh, okay. If there's one thing we know about Maureen. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Cheers, right. Paul. Right, guys. What? Right, OK. Thank you, mate. I'm going to have a dig you. Look, guys, look. Leicester City certainly talked to the Leicester at Ellen Road the other night. They really did. And I was impressed. They also had me say, guys, tactics run. I think Leicester's going to have a hell of a good season this season. What about you two? What yeah. about you, Jason? Well, what are you doing? We've already we've we've been talking about Leicester for a very very long time now, and Leicester are going to be one of those sides that are going to be the thing about Leicester: how yeah. deep they go into this competition, how how they can deal with that. Because they look like they're going to go a long way. Look like they got they're capable of going deep in this competition. And we saw with Wolves last year yeah. how juggling that competition, and they've done ever so well, Wolves, and yeah. trying to get into the top four. There is a stage in the season where one or two injuries, maybe suspensions, maybe a bit of fatigue, yeah. starts to take its toll on a squad. That that would be my if I was a Leicester fan. That would be the one thing you'd look okay. at. And think can we can we battle on two fronts? I don't know, um, Jason, you know what I mean, but do they have uh, a, a, a good squad? Do they have, like, Bielsa says, well, he says these guys have got a uh, replacement for every position there are in our well, team. But... I mean, look, and Madison, only part of the season, wasn't in the side. He's, he, he's, he played tonight. The, the, Jamie Vardy didn't play tonight. They scored four goals. I think that's the one area. I think all over the other pits, they look like they're OK. Don't they? I don't look at... You know, I know the boy Pereira, who's, who's a brilliant fullback, has, yeah. has, has been injured for quite a long time mm -hmm. now. He's not been, and James Justin has come in and done ever so well. They have got Fuchs who played there the other day. Yeah, yeah. Um, we saw how well they've done with those young lads at the back. Saw in who didn't play. Um, uh, oh. Johnny, uh, Johnny uh, Evans didn't play. Yeah, but also, they've got. I know we've talked about. They have got a really, really good manager. Got an excellent. I, I, I've manager. changed my mind. Not, not changed. My, I didn't. I didn't realise how good Brendan was actually. And he's getting better. Yeah, he is. He's getting better. Yeah. And we spoke the other day. I know Leicester fans weren't too keen on me saying this, but there's going to come a point where Leicester, if he keeps doing what he's doing and and, and is not only knocking on that door, door in the top four, but gets in there, he could end up being snapped up yeah, okay, by a big head. Let me ask you this, right? Because Pep still hasn't signed his contract. If Pep were to go at the end of the season, is Brendan Rodgers a big enough name to take over Man City? Um, not sure they would take that risk. Why do you say that? Because would City fans want him? I think. So. I think. Look, Brendan is proving he he has a style, a brand of football which is easy on the eye. He improves players. Is is the, the issue that he had at Liverpool? If you remember, was that they were top heavy. And I think Brendan learnt a lot from that season, where they didn't have to go and win every single game three or four nil. Yet they, they were the goals to the goals that they scored were unbelievable. The, the, the three they Sterling, Sturridge, and Suarez were out, outstanding. Defensively was where Brendan perhaps had to learn a little bit more. There's not a sign of that this season, from what I've seen. Mm. So will whether, it, will when I say when I say not big enough, no, I don't, I'm not. I don't think Brendan. I think is he is he the man that they're looking for to go and win the Champions League? That's what they want. That's why Pep come in. I'm not saying Brendan can't go in and do a, a, a wonderful job. Mm. What I'm saying is, I don't know whether you need... He, look, he may well prove himself in Europe. If he wins this competition, who's to say that they won? Mm. I think it's about doing it in Europe for Man City. Mm. OK. City fans, you can phone up and tell us whether or not you want Brendan Rodgers as your next manager, whenever that may be. And uh, football fans, you can phone up if your team played tonight in the Europa League. So Rangers, Spurs, Arsenal, Celtic and Leicester fans, I want to hear from you tonight. 0871 Come join us in the virtual sports bar on TalkSport. It's time to try.